Hey guys, you know, a lot of times people want to know um, when, where, how to sell their home, but now we're in the fall season. So we're going to give some tips on how you sell your home in the fall. Tip number one, take care of your yard. So curb appeal is everything. So what you want to do is have your yard cut, trim. Uh, if you have landscaping, make sure it's nice and fresh. The mulch is turned. Um, and no fallen leaves. No fallen leaves. And, you know, because when people pull up, it's the first thing that they're going to see. So you only get one time to make a first impression. Exactly. Number two, make, see make your home a seasonal atmosphere like scents, decorations. Right. You can have different, you know, um, you can have different air fragrances in the home. Not too strong, though, mm -hmm. but just something that, you know, making sure that your house is smelling fresh. Um, you know, if decorating is one of your things in the fall, hey, make it a little folly. <laughs> the one that the little, I've seen those little big welcome signs and wreaths and stuff on the door. Mm -hmm. That makes it welcoming and they feel like home. Yes. Number three, keep up with indoor and outdoor home maintenance. So what you want to make sure is that if something is not working properly, get it fixed. Because <laughs> you know that it, it's not working. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out sooner or later. So, you know, get it fixed. If you have a home warranty, call your home warranty company and, you know, make sure it falls under their, their guidelines to make sure that it's taken care of. You want to, you, you don't want holes in the walls. You don't want... Um, things not working when you flush the toilet. It's not flushing. Um, AC is hot. AC is hot. Make sure you get your AC service. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, call a service, call an AC company, and see how much it costs if you don't have home warranty. Just to make sure, it's just like maintaining your body. You have to still do small things to keep it going. And um, a lot of real estate agents know home warranty companies that if you put your house up for sale, you can get. Um, a low cost or maybe even free service for home warranty. Mm. Number four, change out the lighting and your smoke alarm batteries. So when you walk in and you hear that dip, <laughs> let's get a change. Um, unfortunately, most of the homes now, if you don't change all the batteries, they're still going to chirp. Mm -hmm. So when you change one, change them all so you know that everything is fresh. Um, you just you just don't want to walk in with uh, with the chirping of the birds, but also your lighting. You mm -hmm. want to make sure you get bright lights. You know, change out your lights, and if possible, try to have them all look the same. The same, the same uh, light bulbs. And you want the you want them bright so it can show the brightness of the home when they turn on the lights. And um, it's don't have too many colored bulbs. So it may be a little off-putting to uh, visitors. <laughs> Number five, declutter the interior and exterior of your home. So this is actually a big plus because if you declutter, guess what? That's less stuff you have to move. Exactly. So look at the things that you, you must keep, you must have. If you haven't used it in quite some time, it might be a good time to get rid of it. But also there are companies out there that can come out there and help you declutter and help you organize to get your house move in ready or move out ready. Exactly. And that brings us to our last tip. Hire a real estate expert, whether it's the Adolph group or someone that's an expert in selling homes in real estate. They know the area, they know what's on the market, they know the trends, and they also can price your right at this season of the of the year. Right. So you have to understand that we are in a shifting market. It has shifted. So, you know, we can't price it at a certain price and think that we're going to have 100 offers in one hour. So you want to make sure that you are dealing with a real estate professional that does understand the market, that does understand the trends, and that will give you solid advice. But also not just put your house on the market, but work with you and understand your needs, your concerns, and your wants. Because sometimes it can get